and lots of time to make up the difference. We have so much more ahead, and there's no doubt if you'll enjoy every minute of it. H2O is a complex area, and the sector is even more diverse and dynamic. So home viewers, think you know more about H2O? How well are you doing with answering the question so far? Students, do you think you can improve on your totals for today? Do you have the fortitude to survive this challenge and sail over to another one? We'll see. It's back to the competition. Teams, I hope you're ready because round three on water pollution gets on the way now. There's a permanent clearing of land for uses such as agriculture, and this can lead to soil erosion. Judges, correct? That is correct. Correct. <laughs> Thank you, President. Participant two now on both teams. List two benefits of reducing the number of forest fires. And time is up on that question. The answer is reduction of flooding during the wet season and safeguarding a good water supply during the dry season. Let's go to question three for participant three on both teams now. What river has been identified as a major source of pollution to the Gulf of Paria? Hikarani River. That is correct. And the final question in this round now for participant four on both teams. In the most recent river quality assessments, what percentage of the sample sites were identified as being moderately or severely impaired? Isabel. 68%. That is incorrect. 75%. I have an exact figure here, judges. Do you want to keep to that exact figure? The answer given was 75%. Incorrect. Incorrect. The answer is actually 78%, which you were close. We've passed the halfway mark, but there's still time and lots more questions to be answered. So let's get into round four on water treatment, distribution, and transmission. Again, participant one on both teams. Here's your question. What are the major processes in water treatment? Roxborough. Coagulation, sedimentation, filtration, and disinfection. Judges? Uh, do you need to add any more processes to this? pH correction and chlorination. Correct. Congratulations, Roxborough. On to question two for participant two now. What happens in the partial flume? Why is it bad? At the partial flume for coagulation to occur, alum, alum, aluminum sulfate, hydrated lime or liquid polymer, and chlorine is added to the water. Judges, that seems correct to me. I That's think. correct. That is correct. Question three for participant three now. What is the final step in water treatment? Um, disinfection. Is that enough, judges? Yes, we'll take that answer. OK, it's yeah. disinfection by adding chlorine. <laughs> Let's go to the final question now. Participant four on both teams. The Matura well is located in what part of Trinidad? Roxborough. Northeast. That is correct. <laughs> Stay tuned to see in WASA's National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition in the Know with H2O. More to come after this, but most importantly, the scores.
If you've just tuned in, where have you been all this time? You're probably the only person in Trinidad and Tobago not locked on to sea. But we're glad to have you back here now. Welcome back to WASA's first National Secondary Schools quiz competition on the water sector in the know with H2O. With that said, let's take a quick look at the scores. Faisabad Anglican Secondary School, 900 points. <laughs> Roxburgh Secondary School, 300 points. And we're swiftly heading into the final round of competition. We've almost gotten our fine, fifth uh, quarter finalist. Who do you think it will be? Faisabad Anglican Secondary, are you ready? Roxburgh Secondary School, are you ready? Okay, students, as you would have heard earlier, the rules dictate that you can collaborate with your teammates in round five group question segment. Which one of these schools is going to move forward to the quarterfinals? Who will still be in the running to obtain the championship trophy and everything else that goes along with it? Let's not wait any longer. It's time to start the final round of competition, and it's on WASA's dry season plan 2011. Let's go to our first team question now. How many new wells will be drilled or rehabilitated under the dry season plan? Price about. 16 wells. Correct. <laughs> Team question two now. WASA's number of commercial customers is? More than 350,000. That is incorrect. Roxborough? 380,000 380, customers. No, the key was commercial customers. It's 8,032, oh. or approximately 8,000. Let's move on to our next team question now. Question three. The estimated demand of households assumed to be outside the distribution area, ODA of WASA, is? Price about. 2.7 million gallons for water per day. That is correct. And question four now. The production of potable water dropped to what amount in April of 2010? Five is about. 168 millions of gallons per day. That is correct as well. Well, don't move a muscle because when we get back, we have the total and we'll see who moves on to the quarterfinal of WASA's National Secondary Schools quiz in the know with H2O, here on C. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for staying with us on C for WASA's quiz competition in the know with H2O. You could not ask for more. Informational, educational, entertainment, what a show. I can't wait any longer, and I'm sure neither can you. Let's have the final scores, please. Faisabad Anglican Secondary School, 1,200 points. <laughs> Roxburgh Secondary School, 300 points. Congratulations to Faisabad, and of course, congratulations for your participation as well, Roxburgh. Remember, all students get a certificate of participation, so nobody leaves here empty-handed. Good luck to all the remaining schools. Before we go, thank you to the judges. I'm Vernon Ramsar, your host. Keep viewing C television or check us online. We're streaming at ctntworld.com. Join us again tomorrow at 5 p.m. for another preliminary round of WASA's National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition, In the Know with H2O. security for every sector.